Oh man, okay, now I'm getting a scenario where people are out at a party and you run into someone, this could be a potential mate, a potential partner, someone that you actually you may have been talking to or dating. Maybe you invited them and they were like, oh no, I can't make it. But you end up at this party and there they go showing up with somebody else. The illusion is broken. Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general <coughs> energy re reading for your weekend. Yes, this is going to be, f so this is, oh my God, this is the weekend, for, oh my God. Wait, what did I used to call this? Morning Coffee weekend reading. There was something that I called it specifically weekend dose or whatever when i w when i first started morning coffee and um uh i would do the weekend reading i thought i called it a something specific anyway it doesn't matter hi so we're gonna be pulling energies on the weekend yeah so the weekend of october 29th through the 31st so this is halloween weekend you guys yeah um Anyway, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And we are going to be focusing on the energies of this weekend, so it's not going to be so timeless. Uh, but still, this may resonate for you later on down the line, yeah? Okay, so the moon moves into Leo today. As of 10 a.m. on Friday, today, October 29th, the moon will be moving, will have hit zero degrees of Leo. And the moon is going to stay in Leo throughout the weekend. Uh, it actually doesn't cross over into Virgo until early Monday morning. So, personally, I feel like the, the moon transiting through Leo on this particular weekend for the duration of the weekend is pretty p perfect um, is pretty interesting. Like, it, 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 if there were really, you guys, if there were any weekend holiday or festival weekend that would really be beneficial for Leo, I feel like it would be Halloween. Because Halloween is a time where people get dressed up, you know, and they wear, they, they get in their costumes, they go out and have parties, they have costume parties and this, that, and the third. So, this just kind of feels like a perfect energy for Halloween weekend. However, I will say that there is potential for some danger here. I mean, there's always a potential for danger, especially when you have these kinds of these kinds of weekends and all kinds of parties and festivities and stuff, right? Um, but really, I feel like the the real danger here could be in pride and ego. Uh, I have this. I keep getting this very distinct feeling that there could be a lot of letting loose this weekend, which is great. You know, there's no reason not to let loose, especially if you've been going through some rough periods, you've been having a rough time. I just feel like an energy, I just feel like people just letting loose and being like, I just want to dance. I just want to dance. You know what I mean? I just want to go out and have a good time. But that could be where things can... Um, potentially go a little bit south. I mean, obviously there's going to be alcohol involved for many people in, in terms of this. Um, and with this, it, it, the collective just feels a bit tense anyway. It feels like the collective needs a release, needs a good time, needs to have fun. But egos can be triggered very easily, especially if there's alcohol involved. Um, People could be super sensitive. Their sense of pride or their ego could be a little bit extra sensitive. They could be a little self-centered, you know. things People may take things a little bit personally, too easily. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be a doomsdayer. I'm not trying to raid on anybody's parade. I just want to mention that to put that on your radar, okay? Now, the other thing, the other thing about this is that the moon transits into Libra, I'm sorry, into Virgo on Monday. And it's literally like 
we spend the whole weekend with the moon in Leo. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's having a good time. There are lots of parties, lots of excellence, like lots of great stuff. But then as soon as we hit Monday, and as soon as the moon moves back and hits Virgo, bam, back to reality. <laughs> like, I was, I was talking about that this morning with the Patreon Collective, and I, and I looked at that, and I was like, wow, yeah, this, this literally just feels like we're back to reality. And that could be another reason why this weekend would be a really great time. If you need a reprieve, if you need a break from all of this Virgo self- reconstructing energy this weekend is a perfect time to do it but just keep in mind as soon as monday rolls around virgo comes back in and she's like honey we ain't done yet okay because this coming week we have a last big push of virgo energy so the moon i'm sorry the sun transits into libra by the fourth which is thursday and just as the sun hits zero degrees Libra, it conjuncts with the moon, which brings us the next new moon. Uh, and that this next new moon, I feel like could potentially be a really great time. I mean, new moons are good times for to set your intentions, right? But with this happening right at the cusp of Virgo and Libra, there is a potential to gain a lot of ground, gain a lot of footing, or gain a lot of traction in terms of self, self-oriented self healing. Any ways that we've been reconstructing ourselves, any ways that we've been reconstructing things in our lives, switching up our diets, switching up our routines, switching up or integrating or building new ways of being of service to people and or your family. This conjunction or this new moon on the 4th, on Thursday, right at zero degrees of Libra, feels like it, it levels your mind or it clears the playing field or it allows you to approach whatever change or integration it is that you're going through from a much more balanced and harmonious energy. Now, it's yes, it's at zero degrees of Libra, but there's still some Virgo energy wrapped up in there because it's right on the cusp, okay? So you've got that blend. And I do, as I'm working through my astrology practice, I do pay attention to cusp energies because you have a, a, a blend of two of the two signs, right? Okay, and it's worth considering. It's worth, it's worth taking into account. Um, but then also, there is still this last push early in November of this Virgo energy. And like I was saying, guys, the first two weeks of November are gonna be intense. Okay, it's all uh, the energies are already intense leading up to it but the first two weeks in november it's gonna be intense but things start to smooth out towards the third week into the fourth week and then off into december things the aspects at least look like they're going to be much less stressful once we get into december but in the first two weeks of november we still have a push of virgo energy because mercury is going to be conjuncting with mars and then the sun it doesn't conjunct with the sun until about the 10th of November, uh, but it does conjunct with Mercury. I'm sorry, Mercury doesn't conjunct with the sun until about the 10th of November, but Mercury does go con uh, does form a conjunction with Mars, and that's still in Virgo, all right? But it's that's towards the end of Virgo. The sun will already be in Libra. There's already a, le a balanced energy, so that conjunction between Mars and Mercury may actually not be so bad. It may clear up some space for you, so any of your action or any of your single-pointed focus may be super laser-focused, okay, with that conjunction with Mercury. There could be a, great, a really wonderful, excellent balance between your intellect and your action or your physical body, your physicality or what it is you strive for, um, that feels like it's a good, that conjunction actually really does feel like it could be really nice, really easy flowing, especially since it's at the end of Virgo. And I feel like by the time it hits us, we will already have a really good grasp on the process ahead of us or what it is we've been working on. And so that conjunction between Mars and Mercury actually feels really flowy, really easy. Okay. But that's later on. That's not until off into November, so we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about this weekend, yes? 
Excellent. I'm going to get into these cards here. And we'll see what we've got for the collective. Yeah? Pause for just a second. I remember now. I used to call it the weekend edition. Ha! All right, cool. Let's get into this, guys. And see what we've got for the weekend. Yeah? Here we go. High Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear, a clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. Five shuffles. Here we go. One. Two. For our weekend. So this is for November, oh, sorry, October 29th through the 31st. This is three. For the weekend of October 29th through the 31st. What messages do we have for the collective? Please, Spirit, this is for, for our Halloween weekend. And this is five. You guys, I really feel like I'm staying home this weekend. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm looking at these energies. I'm looking at the potential <laughs> debauchery <laughs> that we could be facing this weekend. And I, and I literally feel like that old man that just looks off to the kids like, yeah, let them go have fun. I think I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So, did I finish shuffling? I guess I did. Anyway, let's move forward. Um, I'm being guided to look at the bottom of the deck already, and we do have the Ten of Swords here. This is good. This is good. But, how do, how do I put that into words, Spirit? Just don't take it too far. I know there is a need, for, a desire for release here. This is what I was kind of picking up on um, as I was reading through the chart with Patreon this morning. We need relief. Many of us do. And this weekend could be a really great outlet for that. But try not to take it too far. And also keep in mind that with the moon being in Leo, your subconsciously, your ego may be a little more sensitive. People are most likely going to be looking for ego boosts, self-gratification this weekend. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially given the fact that we're coming out of some real rough shit, okay? With this Ten of Swords energy, just be very careful not to overdo it. Because Leo can overdo it, <laughs> okay? Or at least there could be a drive, a propensity, a push towards really letting go, really escaping from what it is you've been facing lately. Again, I'm not trying to discourage you from getting the relief that you need, that you desire, that you may want. Just be careful not to overdo it, okay? All right, let's move forward here. What do we got for the collective for the weekend, please, Spirit? For our weekend edition. Ooh. The moon, okay. Ooh. Animalistic tendencies. The animal side of us may really be coming out this weekend. The moon. Illusions. I feel very Halloween elements to this. The, th the veil is going to be very thin. Usually during Halloween around this time, the veil between the physical world and the spiritual world is thinner. Oh boy, you guys. 
because uh, now what I'm getting with the moon is that a lot of illusions. I feel like th this could be, especially since I feel in the collective there is desire, there is this desire to release, maybe even to forget about what it is you've been dealing with. There are some dark entities, spiritual beings that may really take advantage of this. You might want to be careful how much you drink, how much you indulge in substances or whatnot, whatever, how how much you really be careful of how much you disassociate this weekend. Because like I said, once we hit Monday morning, early Monday morning, the moon is moving into Virgo and that feels like a massive, a big reality check. For some of us here, depending on what happens this weekend, once the moon moves into Virgo, you may be starkly aware of the reality that you face at that moment, the reality that you have ended up creating for yourself over the weekend. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just saying, illusions, man, okay? What else do we have for the collective here? All right, we do have justice at the bottom of the deck so far. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really hear hearing that that's too relevant. Uh, for some of us, you could reach some sort of justice. Oh man, okay. Now I'm getting a scenario where um, people are out at a party and you run into someone. This could be a potential mate, a potential partner. Someone that you actually you may have been talking to or dating and you get to this party and you maybe you invited them and they were like, oh, no, I can't make it. Or whatever, or maybe you didn't invite them, but you end up at this party and there they go showing up with somebody else. The illusion is broken. Justice. I feel like for some people here, this has been something you've been wondering about for a long time. And that person that is involved in this may have been keeping you in the dark, lying to you, deceiving you, smoke and mirrors. Mm, there could be, there could be some, ooh, there, ooh. And that's where the ego comes in. That's when the pride gets hurt. That's when the ego gets hurt. And then things, and then, and then if you were looking for release before, now you're really looking for release. Like if you were drinking before, now you're like pounding them back because you're just trying to forget that could come back to haunt you. Justice, okay? Be careful. Be careful of this moon energy. Be careful of the deception. Be careful of the darkness. Be careful of the illusions. Nothing is as it seems when the moon comes around. But for some of you here, this absolutely represents the fact that you may be able to get insight as to into something that hasn't necessarily been truthful or upfront or honest with you. But that could also drive some egoic pushes. Okay? Just be aware. <laughs> what else do we have for the collective this weekend? Halloween weekend, please. Spirit, what else do we have for the collective? Uh huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! Okay. All right, cool. Oh, and then we're back to the Ten of Swords, you guys. This doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't. Ultimately, it feels like a good thing. But what you have here continuing, you have the Ace of Wands to the Six of Pentacles, and then you have the Fool. Whoops. The Fool. Okay. So, illusions may be broken this weekend. And that may drive some egoic things. There may be a sense of pride that comes in. You may really want to pamper yourself because of this. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? But what I'm getting here is, especially with the Ten of Swords being the overall energy now, the official overall energy, and with Justice having been at the bottom of the deck before I pulled these next three cards, there seems to be that for some of, the, of us in the collective, either you become aware of something that's been deceptive, and this inspires you, Ace of Wands, to take a leap of faith towards greater reciprocity. This absolutely could be in a certain relationship. 
I mean, this could be, this could be so, y'all, this could be so ratchet to the point where you do go to somebody, go to, go to a party with somebody. Maybe you're not officially dating. Maybe you're not officially boyfriend, girlfriend. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not officially girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. Maybe you are. And then you get to this party or this situation, this event, and all the blur, all the lines start blurring and some shit happens and that inspires you to be like, oh, hell no. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't be doing this. We need greater reciprocity. We need greater respect. We need greater dignity. Just don't let your ego get in the way. Don't let the pride get in the way. I understand if someone acts a fool and fucks up and all of a sudden the illusion is broken and you're pissed off and you're or you're feeling emotional and you want to get back at them. Uh, revenge is not a good look. Or you just want to try and make yourself feel better. Just be careful. All right. Don't don't put yourself in a situation to end up with more swords in your back than are already in there. Now, also underneath the Ten of Pentacles is the Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups to the King of Swords to the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow, you guys, there could be some breakups this weekend. If we're talking romantically, if we're talking about romantic situations, maybe this could lead to the excommunication from a friend group or just the separation of a certain friend group. But what I'm feeling with this here, Ten of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups, King of Swords, Ace of Swords, I really do feel like somebody, some people are going to find some things out this weekend. And sure, it may be a topic of contention, but I feel like it also is a reality check. By Monday, you could really reach a reality check. Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups is understanding that which you've been cultivating or that which you have in front of you versus what it is you truly desire on an emotional level. King of Swords to the Ace of Swords is truth. I really feel like you're going to be getting the truth here. The illusion could be broken this weekend with this energy. And so this could be translating into giving you a frame of view, uh, a point of reference even, for what to work with, what to wish for, what to put into motion once we get to the new moon on Thursday, the 4th. Okay. Clarify or pull more? Clarify, please. Okay, excellent. We're going to get into some clarification. Yeah. I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. Two, three. Now, I'm not even saying, like, this also could play out for you in terms of you start something or you engage in something or you, you it feels like some people could engage in something over the weekend that helps to, that helps them break free from the illusion by Monday. I feel like there's going to be a very stark change in direction, change in orientation, change in mindset, change maybe in belief system by the time Virgo, I'm sorry, by the time the moon moves into Virgo and continues its transit through Virgo for about three and a half days because Virgo is a big sign. Okay, this is four. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> And this is five. All right. So let's definitely start with the moon here. Ooh, look at this. Y'all, I can't make this stuff up. We're starting with the moon, but the overall energy or what's at the bottom of the deck right now is the Ace of Swords. The illusions really could be broken this weekend. Somehow, some way. Okay. And this doesn't also, it doesn't have to be bad. It could just be you get the intelligence or you get the intel, you get the insight, you get the inspiration, you get the idea, you have the light bulb moment, you have the eureka moment that 
clears away something that's been illusionary for you, okay? This doesn't have to be a negative relationship or interpersonal relationship thing. But let's talk about this. What's the moon here? Clarify the moon, please, Spirit, for the collective. Back to the Six of Pentacles. Okay, you guys, I just keep, I keep seeing, I keep seeing a scenario, and, and it doesn't actually have to play out this way. It may, this may just be the theme, and this may be hypothetical, so take it as it resonates. But I keep seeing this situation in which somebody is at a party, and somebody else is there, who they have been potentially talking to or whatever, and you realize something about that person. They're not as faithful as you thought. They're not as attractive as you thought. They're not as much of a potential mate or partner as you thought. And whatever this illusion is going, it is that is going that that of which the truth is surfacing. It's surrounding greater reciprocity. You have the six of pentacles here again, with the king of cups. Okay, now the King of Cups can represent an emotionally manipulative, manipulative person. I am feeling both sides of the equation here. The, the Six of Pentacles and the, and the King of Cups, well, the King of Cups represents, in, on one side, the, the King of Cups represents an emotionally manipulative person. Someone who is just in it for fun and games. But then also the King of Cups represents the other person here. I did just see 555 five, five on the counter. But the, uh, on, the, on the flip side, the, uh, the King of Cups represents an emotionally aware, grounded, stable, and secure individual. And whatever is realized here, whatever is found out here this weekend, it's going to create or necessitate being emotionally uh, mature. Because I feel like you're going to have to make a decision here in terms of what is right for you, what is truly recipro re reciprocal for you. So keeping up with our example here, this is a situation in which you were really into someone, but then you run into them somewhere or you meet them somewhere and something in, it is, you find something out that causes you to reassess the situation, that causes you to have to look at it from a much more emotionally uh, aware and mature point of view. And for some of you here, that means leaving this situation behind. Even though you may have real serious feelings for this person or these people or this environment, this situation, whatever, you have to be emotionally honest with yourself and kind of be the bigger person and potentially walk away from it or make some decisions or adjustments so that you can guarantee a greater sense of reciprocity here. But if that can't be achieved, then you've got to make a very emotionally mature decision. And you guys, you guys, this is all an effect of Saturn squaring up with the sun right now. At the bottom, it's so crazy. Oh my God, it's so crazy because I was looking at the bottom of the deck and I saw the card that's at the bottom of the deck and I was talking through and I was just saying, this is an, this could very well be an effect of Saturn square the sun and look at what is at the bottom of the deck right now. Overall energy, the sun, illumination, awareness. Uh, if you didn't watch happy hour last night, I highly recommend you do so. I'll link it top right of your screen, uh, description box, pinned comment. I'm also probably going to share it as a post in the community tab just in case so we can really get some traction there, cover the bases. But this is part of what we were talking about in happy hour last night because many people were feeling very emotional as the moon was moving through cancer between Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday was a day in which people were, some people were saying the, the vibe just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. And the message there, I'm not going to get fully deep into it, but the message there was we are running up into roadblocks. We're running into situations that in which either we restrict ourselves too much or we're not restricted at all. And because of these roadblocks, this square between the sun and Saturn, this is causing us to have to change the way we deal with something, change the way we, we, we respond or react. 
we have to handle this in a different way than we normally would have in the past. Now, this is all for our highest good. Don't get me wrong. Definitely with the sun. Okay, underneath the sun is the four of wands to strength. To the king of wands, to the ten of cups. Okay, Leo energy. But what this is saying here, whoops, uh, is that we have to we have to respond from this new foundation that we have or we've built within ourselves. We have to keep our ego in check. So again, keeping up with our example and take it as it resonates. This doesn't have to be with everybody, but keeping up with our example, if you are dealing with this relationship situation, maybe your normal way of handling things is to really sink into your ego and your pride and not let go, not back down, not give up, not give in without a fight, this, that, and the third. Protect your name, protect your honor. You know, you're not you're not gonna be you're not gonna be out here being made to look like a fool, like a little bitch like that, blah blah blah, whoop de whoop and all that bullshit, right? That's strength with the king of wands. But you're gonna have to I mean you're gonna have to change the way you react. Instead of reacting in this way, instead we're going to need to be emotionally mature. We're going to be emotionally stable and grounded. There may be a storm swirling around you, but this King of Cups energy sits in that eye of the storm and does not budge. And so you're most likely going to need to make a decision in terms of how to get a greater sense of reciprocity. And for some of you here, the egoic pursuits or the egoic ways or the prideful ways you may have handled things in before are just not going to serve you this time. Because then you could end up getting into a situation in which your ego really takes over and some shit pops off. And by Monday, by the time the moon moves into Virgo, there's that reality check. You see what you just did? Weren't we just, weren't we working on this? Weren't we trying to, now, now don't take it too much. Like, don't take it too personally. We're not trying to scold you here. But that's kind of, that harsh reality is an effect of Virgo. So just be calm, be cool, be collected. Don't allow yourself to get too triggered. If you really do get triggered and you need to take a step back, then take a step back. Okay. How do we want to move forward, Spirit? Ace of Wands. All right. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands, yeah? What's the Ace of Wands for the collective? Ooh! You guys, this shit just straight up flew right out of the deck. The Ace of Swords. Some of y'all are gonna find some things, somebody is gonna find something out this weekend and it's going to inspire you to move forward in a different way, in a brand new way. This is all, this has everything to do with Saturn squaring the sun right now. Whoa! Queen of Swords. There really could be some breakups this weekend. Anything else for the Ace of Wands? Now, the Queen of Swords is definitely giving me an angry vibe. <laughs> no wonder it's giving me an angry vibe because overall energy right now is the Queen of Pentacles. And let me tell you something, in my, in my opinion, as a reader, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles are best friends. They get each other, okay? The Queen of Pentacles may not necessarily, or may be a little more emotionally oriented than the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is not emotional. And the Queen of Pentacles can be a hard ass, but she still has some compassion in there. But let me tell you something. Somebody's gonna be pissed off this weekend because they're gonna find some shit out and it is not gonna be pretty. The reaction may not be pretty. Be careful how much you drink because if you were feeling pissed off or emotional before, that alcohol is only going to fuel that fire. But I'm not gonna sit here and tell you you don't have a right to be angry. Or at least you don't have a, I'm not going to tell you you don't have a right to really draw some real hard lines in the sand. 
But a lot of this anger or the strength of your anger is coming from a lack of respect. A lack of honoring your, your right. Your, your rights, honoring your um, value. The value, what it is you bring to the table. Again, I keep, I keep getting this scenario where you've been dating or you've been talking to somebody and they've been kind of flaky, flighty, or just not, and nothing is really too clear. But then you run into a situation where you, 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 you realize just how much this individual or this situation, ship, this circumstance has been devaluing you. Even though you may have been trying to show up in the best way that you can. And you, re you hit this situation where you realize that this individual is not valuing you the way that they should. And then here comes the Queen of Swords. Like, you motherfucker, you have got to be kidding me. So then this Queen of Pentacles blocks Seven of Wands. Eight of Pentacles to the Tower, to the Chariot, to the Six of Swords. Oh my God, you guys, this could be a massive breakup. This could be a massive breakup. Whatever it is that somebody realizes here, it's going to destroy every inch, every block that has been built in this situation. It is going to tear it down. This person may even tear it down with their bare hands. I mean the rage. The rage, you guys. But see, the thing about this is that even though you may be really angry or really pissed off, this sets you in motion. This gets you grounded. This gets you integrated. I mean, like, I'm feeling some people have never been so motivated to move forward before like this. Ever. Makes sense. Ten of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Some of you are really angry about this because you found yourself in this situation again. Don't go too far with that. Because that's not too... That's not... A, that's not... The point, the point here is that you're reacting differently. The chariot to the six of swords. And when I tell you underneath the six of swords, man is the knight of wands and the ace of wands. I'm sorry, the knight of swords and the ace of wands again. I swear to God, somebody here has never been so motivated to, to just, I want to say to chop some heads off. But that energy would be best directed at severing the ties between you and this individual or you and this situation, this corporation, this internship I'm hearing. Something may happen. Some of you may be interning somewhere or some of you may be um, uh, uh, an entry level, have an entry level position. This is your first year with the company and y'all have, and there's a Halloween party and some shit pops off. This could be between you and your coworkers or just you and the business. Some of you, somebody here may may recognize the deception and the shady business going on at this place. But don't worry so much. Don't get so focused on the fact that you may be finding yourself in this position again. Because the point here is that you're changing the way you react. You're changing the way you respond. And it looks like that response is coming in the form of taking a leap of faith, moving forward in some way in order to, to gain greater reciprocity. All right, I, I want to leave that Ten of Swords there. But let's talk about, I want to clarify the Fool. What's the Fool for the Collective in this situation? Mm-hmm. Yo, this straight up feels like a breakup here. The fool is clarified. I'm using the wrong deck. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. All right. Well, here you go, though. The fool is now clarified or is accompanied by the nine of cups. So whatever leap of faith you end up taking or someone ends up taking in this situation, it's all because of their, the fact that they're wanting to be happy and they've learned their lesson here and they are done. Ten of swords to justice. To judgment. Done, 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 done. 
Dunny done. Dunny done. Can't get any more done. You leave me in this oven any longer, I'm going to be burnt to a crisp. This is a big wake-up call for somebody. The, real, the realization that you needed in order to complete this cycle. All right? Okay. Excellent. Closing Oracle Guidance. I want to go with the Oracle of the Unicorns today. All right. Five shuffles here. One. Two, three, four. Oh, try that again. Four and five. All right. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. We have two cards. Yeah, you have strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. And the gift and or blessing in this situation may be a stronger sense of pride within the self, which be careful of that though. Don't let it take you too, don't, don't take it too far, but strength in yourself. The gift could be the release from this situation. Even though you may find out some toxic, awful shit, the beauty of it, the blessing behind it is you get a chance to remove yourself or relieve yourself of this situation, should you choose to do so, right? And then finally, you have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion, but set strong boundaries. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Happy Halloween. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Beautiful. Take care. Bye. <laughs>